Hello family, GP Crane fan PJ here, and I just wanted to bring a, a um, Isaiah 54, very beautiful, beautiful from the Old Testament. Isaiah was a prophet, and um, he was in just amazing, all his prophecies, and God just spoke to him always. And uh, in Psalm 54, it talks about a what the church should be, you know, and how they're supposed to be fearless. And how we as brothers and sisters in, uh, in him should prosper and show that this is the way, this is the truth. And um, there ain't too many people living, you know, by the truth today. Mm. I'm unraveling slowly. Slowly the spirit is just taking hold of me and enlightening me and all this stuff that's supposed to be real and isn't. No one is. Um, in the relationship so close with the father that miracles are manifest upon this earth and heaven is shown right here. Right here, this very day, when the faith is where it's supposed to be. So just think about that when you listen to this song. And God will speak to you. The Spirit will be bright today. You will brighten your life. Heavenly Father, I just ask you to brighten these people's spirit and just show them the real truth. And Yahushua, Hamashiach, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior's name. Amen. You're going to love this one. Check it out. Isaiah 54. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Sing, O childless woman, you who have never given birth. Break into loud and joyful song, O Jerusalem, you who have never been in labor. For the desolate woman now has more children than the woman who lives with her husband, says the Lord. Enlarge your house, build an addition, spread out your home, and spare no expense. For you will soon be bursting at the seams. Your descendants will occupy other nations and resettle the ruined cities. Fear not. You will no longer live in shame. Don't be afraid. There is no more disgrace for you. You will no longer remember the shame of your youth and the sorrows of widowhood. For the Creator will be your husband. The Lord of Heaven's armies is His name. He is your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, the God of all the earth. For the Lord has called you back from your grief, as though you were a young wife abandoned by her husband, says your God. For a brief moment I abandon you, but with great compassion I will take you back. In a burst of anger I turn my face away for a little while, but with everlasting love I will have compassion on you, says the Lord, your Redeemer. Just as I swore in the time of Noah that I would never again let a flood cover the earth, so now I swear that I will never be angry and punish you. For the mountains may move and the hills disappear, but even then my faithful love for you will remain. My covenant of blessings will never be broken, says the Lord, who has mercy on you. O storm-battered city, troubled and desolate, I will build you with precious jewels and make your foundations from lapis and luzili. I will make your tower of sparkling rubies, your gates of shining gems, and your walls of precious stones. I will teach all your children, and they will enjoy great peace. You will be secure under a government that is just and fair. Your enemies will stay far away. You will live in peace and terror will not come near you. If any nation comes to fight you, it is not because I sent them. Whoever attacks you will go down in defeat. I have created the blacksmith who fans the coals beneath the forge and makes the weapons of destruction. I have created the armies that destroy. But in that coming day, no weapon forged against you will succeed. You will silence every voice raised up to accuse you. These benefits are enjoyed by the servants of the Lord. Their vindication will come from me. I, the Lord, have spoken. Thank you, Father, for the word. May our hearts be open to your beautiful promises. 
Jesus' mighty name. Thank you all for coming. Please hit that bell. Subscribe. Thank you. Have a blessed, blessed day from GP Crane fam.